Hi guys, uh, today we're going to make a simple blood effect on Photoshop uh, and this works with any of the uh, Photoshops from CS and above so uh, everyone can join in with the Halloween fun and um, yeah, hope you enjoy ok guys, so this is going to be an image I found off of the internet um, just typed in hand and uh, this came up, this looks pretty good and I'm going to show you how to make a simple blood effect and so first of all we're going to create a new layer and from here we're going to go into our adjustment layers uh, painting, what am I painting? photography and we're going to have a new adjustment layer and uh, you can find it from layer, new adjustment layer I just find it easier because I'm going to make a few of these I'm going to use it from here and we're going to go to our um, what are we going to do? we're going to go to our color black balance um, layer so I'm going to click that and we're going to do, uh, well, turn it red. So we're going to go to midtones. I'm going to whack that up to red. Uh, highlights, we're going to leave that like that. But we're going to bump up the blue one a bit. Just to give it a, some more darker colours. And the shadow, we're going to bump that up to red again. Well, that's a bit red. Um, shadows, we're going to, yeah, we're going to leave that red. Whack that up a bit. Whack that up a bit. Midtones, probably take this bit down a bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll leave it like that, and uh, we'll we'll come back to it because we can always change it. It's an adjustment there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our adjustment layer mask majiggy, and we're gonna turn that to black. So we're gonna press Control or Command I, and it's gonna get rid of it. Now for this, we're gonna be using a, a white foreground paintbrush, and we're gonna paint in our blood. Now this bit's a bit tricky. And it can take some time. So, uh, but I'm going to do this as quick as possible. And what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and follow the contours of the hand. You see that? Following the contours. Following the contours. And you can do this pretty roughly. You want to have a small brush. Uh, I'm going to stick my hardness up to 100 at the moment. And I'm just going to paint in what I think should where the blood is roughly going to be. Now I'm the kind of guy that has to do something once quite rough for it to work out correctly. So um, yeah, bear with me. I'm probably going to correct changes in a bit. I right, painted this whole thing in, and I'm going to change it to white, uh, black on the foreground. So I don't want to get rid of that bit. And we're going to change this up a bit and when we've got the rough shape I want to change to it a very soft brush that's uh, going to give us that soft edged feel I'm going to carry on painting into the, some of the nooks and crannies Now you've got to bear with me, I know this looks really quite naff at the moment but uh, a couple of adjustment layers later and it will, it will look okay, don't worry I can see you worrying, don't everything is going to be a-okay I don't want to start thinking, singing Bob Marley because I'll get sued for copyright I'm that big of a channel right oh, puss um, Take that in a bit, and do you guys? I'm gonna say, uh, spend more time on this than I am, because uh, you can really get a good-looking blood effect. I'm gonna give you the the basics, the know-how, the the well, I don't know another word. Uh, um, the basics, the know-how, the Jargon. No, it's not jargon, is it? That's not the right word. What am I talking about? So we're just gonna. I'm gonna. I wanna paint some blood on the tip of his finger. Oh, that's a bit much. It looks like he's dipped his hand into some kind of wax. Want that? And I'm gonna. 
Oh crap, I keep pressing Z for trying to undo something. Go away. Um wait. Okay. Up from here I'm just gonna paint a rough eye, it's a bit too small, isn't it? So indecisive when it comes to this kind of thing. I'm gonna paint a nice white eye, and every time I come to one of these creases, I'm going to paint a bit like that. Bring it back up to whatever pixels I had that last time and uh, paint onto it again. Right. So I've got a somewhat bloody hand. Um, doing not don't like that yet. Okay. Now I I'm not gonna lie. This looks terrible at the moment. But 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 but. A couple of adjustment layers next, and we're going to make this look a okay. Okay, so <laughs> next we're going to go for um, a curves adjustment layer. Click that. But all we're going to do is we're going to press Alt, and between these two, we're going to clip it to the, uh, the color balance layer. So this is just going to change the color, and we're going to drag that down, comme ça, and bring that like that. Now that's immediately made this blood less uh, less red and uh, more how we want it. Oh, hang on. Let's set this to multiply. Yeah. That's how we do it. That means we can change this color balance there. Up a little. Right. So without this color balance... Uh, this curves there, yoink, and with like that. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to invert this again, so we can't see anything. And in any of the dark places, we're going to paint uh, with white. That's good. like the nooks, the crannies, and uh, the whatnot. We're gonna we're gonna paint white, and it's just going to darken everything up a bit. So I, I stress. Please don't believe this. Is, uh, what I give you here is not the end result. It's the end result. Well, it's the end result, but after 15 minutes max. And I'm already halfway through my time. Uh, I've got a. Well, yeah. Might pull out a video one day. One day showing you a uh, must setup. How I uh, work and whatnot. If you're interested, and we're going to bring this one, let's put that down a bit. And just mess about with the opacity. If you've got a pen, this is a lot easier. I haven't plugged in my pen because, uh, lazy. I'm a lazy boy. Okay, so that's uh, looking better. But I want to add another adjustment layer. So, uh, another curves one. So, we're going to add another curves. And we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to press Alt between the two layers, and we're going to clip it together. Now with this one, I want to bring that all the way down as far as I can. Oh, press Control I, change that, and we're going to paint it in white again. But we're going to paint it very softly because this is a very dark change. Oh, it's probably a bit too soft actually. Be do be do. Yeah. Do very just darken it up just a little, just to add some contrast into the hand. And uh, I really don't like that top bit. I'm changing that now. That's horrible. What was I thinking? Oh. Do you want to paint? Well, you want to paint in black. You want to paint with a proper brush. Or maybe I could make it, uh, I don't know. You guys have a play about where you think the blood best fits. That's okay. And, um, okay. So, uh, 
that's essentially it finished, but what we're going to do to make this look a bit more 3D and whatnot, we're going to add some highlights into it. So what we're going to do is going to come down to this one. Now we can use a dodge tool. Uh, dodge tool is a pretty decent tool. But uh, to be brutally honest, I prefer a smaller brush with white. Oh, damn it. A uh, smaller brush, so that's three, with white. And what I can do with this, if I didn't have so much junk in my way, um, is that's a bit too much. Take the opacity down, and I can paint in uh, shimmers. Now, uh, what you might want to do is when you paint these in, you're gonna want a thicker brush than I did for the brush for the blood. Because uh, it just doesn't start. Uh, yeah, the brush I'm using at the moment is too big, but any smaller and you wouldn't be able to see it. So that's what it's the gist of it's going to look like. So I'm going to go back to my uh, color balance there. Oh, what have I done? Yeah, link those together. I'm going to paint him with white. Uh, white. White. One sheet does plenty. Uh, Probably a bit too big. Yeah. So you can see where, where all my highlights are just gonna thicken it up a bit so it doesn't look so odd. And uh, maybe thin it up a bit there where I've got I've gone over the top. I've gone a bit crazy. I'm a wild oh, wild beastly and yeah. So uh, yeah, little white highlights will will definitely uh, well make your thing look a bit more 3D. Maybe uh, mm, 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 mm. well, this is the only blood before I'm here having some. Uh, I'm gonna add in. Oh, I'm gonna add another one. In. Yep, forgot about the uh, opacity there. And uh, yeah, this is so much easier when you've got a tablet. Uh, God, this is uh, not going well for me. Come on, don't make me look like an idiot. Right, that's better. That's a very quick way to make a, a blood effect, and I've got a pool here of blood. Maybe uh, I want to make this just a little bit. I've got a bit of time, so I'm going to make this um, a little bit bigger. This pool. Going to make this, uh, yeah, not bigger, darker. Just going to do that. And I've got a blood effect. I right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a, a thumbs up. I know uh, I'm begging for <laughs> begging for thumbs up, but it really does help me. You know, it puts me places where um, you know other people can see my stuff. I'm very useful if you liked it. If I um, yeah, leave a comment if you need any help or would like to see or you want you know want to request another video um, that I haven't done yet. That would be great. Uh, I would try and do that. Give me some ideas. And other than that, have a happy Halloween. If you want to uh, see um, how to make this skull face tutorial, um, that's going to be up probably before this one, to be honest with you. So I'm going to have a link. Uh, click on the screen or click on the link uh, in the description below. And you can see how to make a, a skull face. Uh, yeah. Hope to see you there.